Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. And as you can tell, we are not in our studio right now. Right now, we are at the LSU Rural Life Museum. And what I'm standing in front of is a truck farm truck. And this is one of the newest additions to the Rural Life Museum. This is a Model T frame from the 1920s that the Minge family had built on this special wooden part to where they could carry produce from outside of New Orleans and bring it to the French market where it was sold every week. It really is a neat piece of Louisiana history and kind of gives you an idea of just how close farmers and consumers were to one another at one time. In fact, this piece right here last rolled on under its own power in 1959. It was kept in the lower ninth ward up until 2004. Fortunately, not 2005 because in 2005 Hurricane Katrina hit the lower ninth ward flooded. However, the Minge family had already moved this piece up to Pearl River before the flooding happened, thus preserving it so it could find a new life and new appreciation here at the LSU Rural Life Museum. You need to come down here and check it out for yourself. Now that kind of shows the close tie between the city, the consumers and the farmers, especially there in the New Orleans area. And well, we are going to be in the New Orleans area in just a few short days. That's when farmers and ranchers from across Louisiana will converge on the Crescent City for the annual meeting of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation to set policy, catch up with old friends, and participate in all the usual family-friendly activities the convention has to offer. Now this year is a little different. Not only is it the first in-person convention in two years, but is the 100th annual convention of the Louisiana Farm Bureau, a centennial celebration with a number of special events, including a band, giveaways, and other surprises throughout the week. It will also be the first in-person convention for Louisiana Farm Bureau President Jim Harper, who took office as COVID-19 held the country in lockdown. He says the combination of returning to live meetings and this special anniversary has everyone excited for the 2022 convention. It's our 100th anniversary and it's been three years since all the members have gotten together at convention in New Orleans. Everybody has really been looking forward to this meeting and hoping it would happen. And it looks like COVID is going to cooperate and we can all get together. Now it's not too late to make plans to join us in New Orleans. To learn more about the Louisiana Farm Bureau Convention, head over to our website at twilatv.org. 